Welcome to the XRS Elite Roll-Up Door Installation Guide. This video is provided as a supplement to the install guide. Please read all instructions prior to beginning installation. Use caution. Improper installation of door can cause severe injury or death. Step 1. Measure door opening and floor to ceiling height. The door tracks have been pre-cut at the factory to match the ceiling measurements given to us at the time of order. Do not cut tracks without consulting the factory first. If tracks will not fit or you feel they need to be cut, please call tech support before proceeding. Step 2. Unpack the hardware. Unpack door and all hardware. Confirm all parts listed in the parts list have been included. Step 3. Determine left hand and right hand tracks. The left hand track will have the bearing plate at the top and the weather seal pointed to the right towards the center of the door opening. The right hand track will have the bearing plate at the top and the weather seal pointed towards the left towards the center of the door opening. For each track, the fastening portion of the track with the pre-drilled holes will be pointed away from the door opening. Step 4. Mount left hand track. Place track against the wall so that the reset bracket is against the inside of the door jamb and the brush seal is pointed towards the center of the opening. Level the track and mount the door jamb at the midpoint of the track using only one anchor at this time. The remaining anchors will be used in a later step. Step 5. Mount the right hand track. Repeat step 4 for the right hand track assembly. Step 6. Mount top cover. Using two people, lift the aluminum top cover assembly onto the top of the bearing plates. Make sure that the support bar is on the bottom of the cover and is towards the wall. Using two 5 16 by 1 inch bolts, attach the cover support bar to each bearing plate. Use the innermost pre-drilled hole at the top of the bearing plates. Step 7. Unroll vinyl cover from aluminum support bar. Using two people, lift the support bar with the cover attached and fasten it to the bearing plate using two 5 16 by 1 inch bolts. The bar will mount to the outermost mounting hole at the top of each plate. Do not tighten bolts at this point. Leave them slightly loose until you complete step 15. Step 8. Complete track mounting. Check that both tracks are level and square with the mounting surface. Complete the mounting of the track by fastening the track to the wall with the remaining pre-drilled holes in both the track and bearing plates. Step 9. Install door assembly. Lift the vinyl cover on top of the door assembly so it is not in the way. Slide one 3 and 1 8 inch PVC shaft spacer on each end of the shaft. Using three people or a mechanical lift, lift the door assembly into place and slide the exposed ends of the shaft into the slot at the front of each bearing plate. Important, be sure to orient the door so that the yellow bottom edge is closest to the wall. The door panels will unroll on the wall side of the tube. Lift the rolled door assembly into place by sliding the end of the shaft into slots at the front of each bearing plate. Do not remove the ropes from the door assembly yet. The door needs to remain rolled up until a later stop. Step 10. Install bearings. Slide bearing onto shaft. Lift the shaft slightly to align the bearing mounting holes with the pre-installed 3 8 inch bolts. Slide the bearing onto the mounting bolts until it is against the retaining nut. Use two 3 8 inch lock washers and two 3 8 inch nuts to fasten the bearing to the bearing plate. Repeat the previous steps for the opposite side of the door. Step 11. Set door opening height. Have one person place a vice grip on the door shaft on the side opposite to where the motor is mounted. This person must also hold onto the vice grip firmly to prevent the door from unrolling. While the vice grip is being held, have another person untie the ropes from the door assembly. Important, guide the edges of the door into each track and lower the door by hand until the bottom edge is at the desired opening height. Important, guide the edges of the door into each track and lower the door by hand until the bottom edge is at the desired opening height. For instance, if you have a 10 foot high opening but only want the door to open 8 foot, you must lower it to 8 foot before proceeding. The door must be lowered into the tracks at least two inches at minimum. Once the door is at the desired opening height, place the vice grip on the shaft against the wall so the door remains in that position and doesn't unroll. Be sure to place the vice grip on the side of the door that does not have the motor assembly attached to the bearing plate. Step 12. Mount bottom support bar. 
Install the outer bottom support bar to each bearing plate using two 5 16 inch by 1 inch bolts. Step 13. Install cover bolts. Lay the double wide support bar flat on the ground with a black rubber seal on top. Slide 5 quarter inch by half inch bolts into the slot next to the rubber seal as shown. Space the bolts evenly along the length of the support bar. Step 14. Mount double support bar. Flip the double support bar over so the rubber seal is on the bottom. Mount the double support bar to the slot in the bottom of each bearing plate using four 5 16 inch by 1 inch bolts. Do not tighten these bolts yet. Leave them loose so the bar can slide in the slot. Slide rubber seal flush with the door, then tighten bolts. Step 15. Complete the vinyl cover install. Pull the front vinyl cover down and wrap around the bottom support bars. Adjust the location of the quarter inch bolts in the bottom of the slot of the double support bar so that they are aligned with the five grommets at the bottom edge of the vinyl cover. Using five quarter inch by half inch bolts, fasten the vinyl cover to the double support bar. Next, rotate the upper support bar until the vinyl cover is tight. Tighten the 5 16 inch bolts holding the upper support bar. Step 16. Install poly bearing into poly bearing slots. Slide one of the two inch by five inch pieces of polycarbonate into the slot in each bearing plate as shown. Step 17. Opener installation. Unpack the opener and lay it flat on the ground. Determine which side of the opener to attach the mounting bracket. Note when the opener is mounted, the black electronics cover will be facing away from the wall. Attach the opener brackets to the correct side of the opener using four M8 by one half inch bolts. The opener brackets mount to the opener through the smaller round holes, not the larger slotted holes. Slide the opener onto the end of the shaft, making sure the brackets are towards the bearing plate. Align the slotted holes in the mounting brackets with the bolts on the bearing plate. Slide the opener onto the bolts. Fasten the mounting brackets to the bearing plate using 3 8 inch lock washers and 3 8 inch nuts. Rotate the door shaft with a vice grip until the keyway of the shaft is in line with the key slot in the opener. Insert the opener in the keyway and key slot and push it until approximately one quarter inch is sticking out. Slide the one inch shaft collar onto the end of the shaft, put it against the key and tighten the collar set screw. Mount and wire your door control according to the wiring insert included with your installation packet. Step 18, install photo eyes. Using the aluminum mounting brackets provided, first mount each photo eye to a bracket. Next, mount the brackets to the door opening approximately two foot above the ground as shown. Wire the photo eyes to the controls as specified in the wiring diagram. Step 19, opener adjustments. Follow these steps to set the door to open and close the desired position. The first step is to adjust the opener at the desired speed. This is done by using the up and down arrows on the face of the VFD inside the control box. The up arrow increases the opener speed, the down arrow decreases the opener speed. The digital readout shows the current opener speed as a percentage of the maximum speed, 60% being the maximum for the Elite model. Adjust the VFD to the desired speed using the up and down arrows and press close on the control button. Be ready to press stop when the door moves. Please note that the run and stop buttons on the face of the VFD are disabled. If you press the run button, you'll just get an error code, and that is normal because we use the open, close, and stop buttons on the front of the box to run the door. The opener limits are set by adjusting the open and close limit cams inside the gearhead portion of the motor. Before proceeding, remove the black plastic cover from the gearhead. The innermost green cam is your open limit. The innermost white cam is your close limit. The other two cams are accessory limits and will be used for other purposes. Each cam is adjusted by means of two different screws. The set screw will allow you to adjust the cam freely. The fine-tuned screw tucked up into the point of the cam will allow you to make small, incremental changes to the cam position. With a door position approximately 12 inches below your desired opening height, loosen the set screw on the open limit cam and rotate it clockwise until it presses in on the limit switch. 
Close the door and stop the door approximately 12 inches above the floor. Loosen the set screw on the close limit cam and rotate it counterclockwise until it pushes in on its limit switch. Depending on the speed you have chosen for the opener, you may have to fine tune adjust the limit cams. This is due to the coasting nature of the opener. Run the door open and closed and adjust the fine tuning screw on each cam until the door stops at the desired open and closed positions. The fine tuned screw will rotate the cam as you rotate it with the Allen wrench. This is ideal to make small adjustments in the door position. Important. Once the opener limits have been set, any adjustment to the opener speed will require that you adjust the opener limits as well. Step 20, motor cover install. Thread a 3 8 inch nut onto the two outer mounting bolts located on the motor side bearing plate. Remove the front panel of the motor cover. Lift the motor cover up and around the motor and align the slots in the mounting bracket with the mounting bolts that you threaded the nut onto. Push the motor cover onto the bolts until it is snug against the wall. Level the motor cover and fasten the mounting bracket to the mounting bolts using a large 1 and 1 half inch washer, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and 3 8 inch nut. Reinstall the front panel on the motor cover. 